Hey guys, today I've got something a little different. It's a special request by a subscriber named Luis, and I've got another one coming fairly soon for Luis as well. I do take requests for reviews, and I will try to review the model if possible. So if you have anything you would like me to look at and talk about, drop it in the comments. For those of you who have been around a while, you know I mainly talk about DCP and first gear. But I do review models by all makers and have done histories on many toy makers, including Matchbox. And today, I'm going to talk about a set of Matchbox trucks. The last Matchbox truck that I reviewed was the Tesla Semi. And, by the way, we need one of those in 64 scale. But that Tesla Semi didn't have any working parts, unlike today's topic of the Matchbox Working Rig series. Go see my Tesla Semi and my Matchbox History video with the links down below. Matchbox first introduced the original line in 2008 and produced it until 2014. During that time, these vehicles were marketed under the Real Working Rigs title. The Real was dropped from the line when they brought the line back into production in 2019. Smash the like button and I'll start with the original product line name. The Real Working Rigs series consisted of larger trucks like medium duty, low cab forwards, and fire trucks. While the packaging was larger than the traditional matchbox car model, the trucks were built in a slightly smaller scale. This leads them to looking a little out of place with the regular matchbox cars. The matchbox mainline cars are scaled to approximately 3 inches in length, which translates fairly well to 1 64th scale. The Real Working Rig series are scaled to approximately 4 inches in length. This really doesn't translate to any particular scale as these trucks vary so much in real life. This may be of concern for the toy enthusiast that really values matching scales. But for most of us toy collectors, these trucks will be close enough, especially since some of them have never been done by anyone else in this size. Do keep in mind that when compared to a DCP, they are smaller. And if you want to know more about the different scales, grab my free report on scale in the link down below. The Real Working Rigs series got its title from the fact that they feature moving parts. Not necessarily a lot of moving parts, but hey, for the price and the size, any moving parts are pretty cool. Some of the moving parts include a tilting bed on the roll-off truck, posable front plow on the snow plow truck, and sliding bed on the rollback tow truck. As usual, the wheels are better than a Hot Wheels, but not much. Matchbox borrowed the wheels from the Super Convoy series, which are trucks made in approximately the same scale as the real working rigs. The Super Convoy series are models of tractor trailer trucks, and the real working rigs series are models of straight trucks. Both of these series combined were designed to fill the niche market that was previously held by the Matchbox Super Kings series. For some reason, in 2014, Matchbox decided to discontinue the Real Working Rig series. Why? I don't know. And asking Google didn't give an answer. But it probably wasn't due to popularity, since Matchbox brought the line back under a revised brand name of Working Rigs in 2019 and expanded the line to include more trucks. Now, let's head to the rock quarry and look at a couple of the Working Rig Series trucks. And here we go, guys. This is the Matchbox Working Rig Series. Well, it's not really a true series. This is just three trucks from the series. 
They didn't come as an assortment. In fact, one of them is from even a different year. That's from 2020, and the outer two are from 2021. But you get the idea. These are the Working Rigs trucks. This is the replacement for the real Working Rigs series that they canceled and then brought back. Not sure why they canceled it, but that's what they did. And here we go. Let's talk about them. First, we've got the GMC Top Kick. Then we've got the Pierce Fire Engine and a generic front load garbage truck. Now, this one here on the front, you can see it is a Pierce Velocity Aerial Platform Fire Truck. Isn't that cool? They made some great packaging for these. They did a, a hand-drawn look for the model and then the logo. Really cool. Working parts on this one are the right here in the aerial ladder part. It will rotate. It goes up and down and or even better, it will extend. If you look, the ladder is there. It will actually extend out one full section. They did a great job on graphics. It's got the American flag and the Pierce logo up on the snorkel unit. And on the front of it, they've got the hoses molded in. Not the super best of detail, but this is Matchbox. And the price point is pretty cool. Especially with not that much working parts. It has the Matchbox wheels which are decent. They're not great, but they're decent. No real tread pattern on them. They still look nice. Snake bin fire department on the ladder, and then the snake bin fire department logo, door shield right there on the door, station number, and truck number of nine. The back, they did not tampo the brake lights. It's kind of the one thing that I wish they had done is tampo the brake lights. That would have been cool. They didn't, but nice back detail up there. It's die cast body with some plastic parts, of course. And then on the front, you can see they did actually tampo the headlights and the turn signal. So I don't know why they didn't tampo them on the back. Then there's a little siren there. A really nice piece in the Working Rig series. Next truck I'm going to talk about is the garbage truck. It's the Garbage King XL. That's what they call it. Again, really nice packaging with the stylized hand-drawn truck right there. Then you bring it up. Working parts on this one include the back door does open up. It is hollow inside. It's hollow right there. Really, really nice. And then you get to see the arm. It will pick up the dumpster and it'll dump it in. And also the dumpster will come off of the little forks at the end. So that is really cool. Graphics on this one. I'm, I'm blown away by the graphics. Matchbox City, Matchbox City Waste Services right there. The graphics just outstanding. Been nice if they'd done like a true Mac or a Peterbilt or something truly um, low cab forward cab. Even the auto car that they did once before would have been really cool, but they didn't do any branding on this one. It's got Matchbox City Shield on the truck and the Matchbox Services, really good graphics. Bright red cab, dark red bed. Underneath, typical, not a lot of detail, but a lot of text written in, which is typical of them. In the back, you can see DOT striping, brake lights, tampoed, Matchbox City Waste Services, nice, nice graphics. Down to the front, it so would have been nice if they'd done like the auto car or one of their branded ones instead of just a genericized. It kind of looks like a cross between a Peterbilt, a Mac, and the auto car for the low cab forward, to, so it would be generic enough. But I can go with it. It's still a nice truck for the size. And remember, these are going to be a little bit smaller than any of your true 64 scale, like from Greenlight or DCP, but they're still a nice die cast piece. Let's move over here to the last one. And this is the one that I would love to see in 60, true 64 from like first gear could bring it out because they've got it in 30 foot scale. And it is the GMC C8500 Top Kick Over Center Tree Trimming Truck. Nice again packaging here with the hand drawn look. Probably computer generated, but still it looks cool. It's Ozema from Chicago, Illinois. Ozema Tree Service. Not sure if that's a real company, but that's what's on the door. Graphics, not the greatest. They're not super crisp like they were on the garbage truck, but they're still nice. The bed is 
hollow. It's open. The dump box. The tailgate does open, and the box dumps. As you know, most of these guys would have had a cover over that, so you could build one, and that would really, really dress it up. The over center bucket, it does go up and down at that section, this section, and it rotates. Also, the bucket rotates pretty well. Similar matchbox wheels, no opening parts other than the tailgate, but some other working parts. The front of the truck, you can see the GMC front end with the GMC logo in the grill, and then you can see the walk plate and diamond plate there so that you can climb up and walk around your bucket. Really nice. Now what we need is a chipper trailer to go behind it. And then you'd have a really cool set. As I said, it's a little bit smaller, but I could live with it. Especially since there is no other 64 scale tree trimmer truck like it available. And it would be really cool to have. And there we go, guys. That is the Matchbox Working Rigs trucks. That's three different trucks from different series. But you get the idea. It's the GMC C8500 Top Kick Tree Trimmer Truck, the Pierce Velocity Aerial Ladder Truck, and the Garbage King XL Front Load Garbage Truck. Really nice pieces, and they would fit well in anybody's collection. Guys, let me know in the comments if you have the Working Rigs models in your collection, and what you think of them. As you know guys, I really appreciate each and every one of my subscribers as you guys are the reason I keep making these videos and try to make videos on your special requests, just like this one. However, these videos do take a lot of time to make and you guys can help me out by going down and dropping a tip here or sponsoring me over on my Patreon page. There's a link to it down below. Coming soon is an unboxing video on a Hot Wheels truck series. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss it. Also, go on and make sure you smash that like button. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another video.